That makes the guy with the OC spray draw his firearm, and uh -oh. now a gunfight gun fight. starts. Yeah. Well, the dude in all black is better with his firearm than the dude in the shorts. Oh, he got him. And so the dude yep. in the shorts takes the him. pharmacy temperature challenge right here. Wow. And our OC sprayed victim in this particular case, uh, he stayed there until the police arrived. And if you go read the news stories, it took years. That yeah. Whoa. YouTube town family, what's the biz? Y'all already know what it is, man. Positive vibes always, all days. You know how I'm rocking. You already know ain't nothing to it but to do it. So we about to get right into it. As always, I hope everybody feeling well out there today. I always want to set out that positive vibration, that positive energy to my Tide Town family. And as always, if you haven't already, please hit that like, share, subscribe, and notification button so you can stay up to date with the latest, greatest content because you don't want to miss it. Like I say, we doing daily drops for you guys, okay? Without further ado, anywho, welcome to Tide Town. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Norfolk, Virginia. This is not a paid endorsement, but Cigars Daily is a friend of Active Self Protection and like Active Self Protection Cigars. Just here too, you see the pharmacist dealing with the other person. Now what you're gonna see happen here is another guy is gonna come and kind of get into line, which our guy who was kind of pacing around didn't really think about being in line so much. Instead, he's gonna recognize, oh man, you know, I've been waiting in line and now this guy's kinda cut in front of me. So he's gonna kinda tap him on the shoulder and be like, hey sir, you know, I was in line there first. Well, what he doesn't know is that guy has a real history of anger problems. Literally, he's been kicked out of multiple places, banned from places, Ooh. and he's gonna start jawing at him and, and being kind of a jerk. Well, guess what? He has a history of being a jerk. Our guy in all black is is like, hey, you know, come on, man, I, I was in this line first, whatever. And the guy's like, hey, screw you, the line is here. You weren't in the line, you were wandering around. I'm gonna take my part. So finally this guy's like, man, whatever, piss off. And then he's gonna kind of give him the- To be fair, dude in the black wasn't dominantly in line. Like you can, I mean, I wouldn't call that being in line. He was kind of, I mean, just from the, from the start of this, was kind of pasting back and forth. I probably would have did the same thing if I was the guy in the green shirt, to be honest. I would have just kind of walked up and, you know, attended in a line, but let's see what happens. Around. Now watch what happens here. The guy in, in the, the shorts is jawing at him and kind of, you know, yipping and all that stuff. So when he walks by, watch what happens now as our dude in the shorts gets out an OC spray. Guy's not even paying any attention to him and he just OC sprays Ooh, him in the ee. face. Now that's gonna freak out our man who has been wandering around in black. So he's gonna wander off and be like, Hit yo, and the, the guy pet. keeps yelling at him. So what does he do? He actually draws his firearm here and tries to stay away from the guy. Well, when he draws his firearm and starts backing off, that makes the guy with the OC spray draw his firearm and uh -oh. now a gunfight gun fight. starts. Yeah. Well, the dude in all black is huh? better with his firearm than the dude in the shorts. Oh, he got him. And so the dude yep. in the shorts takes the him. pharmacy temperature challenge right here. Wow. And our OC sprayed victim in this particular case, uh, he stayed there until the police arrived. And if you go read the news stories, it took years that this man was ending up charged with murder for the death of the man who OC sprayed him. What? And then he went to trial twice. Both of those trials ended in a mistrial. Each time, more of the jury voted to convict than voted to acquit. Wow. But both times, they ended up deadlocked there and mistrialed. And after the second mistrial... I don't know. What do y'all think? I mean, just looking at it. I want y'all's opinion on this one. That's crazy just hearing already what they decided his fate was, because I, I thought for sure that would have been self-defense. Um, like I say, from the from the start, even though guy in the black wasn't really in the line, uh, the, the guy clearly with the temperature, right, that took the temperature check, um, was more the aggressor. So 
That's crazy. The prosecutor said he was crazy. not going to try it a third time because he felt like he would get the same verdict. Some very interesting parts on wow. this one. <laughs> hey, this is just an invitation from me to you. If you want to learn more about legal and moral self-defense, uh. you can find out a bunch on Active Self Protection Extra or even better in the ASP Unlimited app. We have full-length courses on legal and moral self-defense there. We have talks that, we, that I've given, that attorneys have given. We have all kinds of extra education you don't get on YouTube over in the ASP Unlimited app. It is a treasure trove of information to keep you from being prosecuted like this guy. Yeah, man, so y'all go and check them out. Here, yes, absolutely, Active carry your firearm with you everywhere you go. You know, both these guys have Second Amendment rights, but remember, you carry a firearm, you carry the means of deadly force on your person at all times. That means you are morally and legally responsible to be a good, sane, sober, moral, prudent person who, who really de-escalates conflict. Mm. That did not happen in this case. Now, is it all. okay for the guy in black to come up and go, hey man, I'm sorry, I was meeting there, I just kind of wandered off, whatever. Would that be acceptable? Yeah, it is. Yeah, and it's but, on the dude yeah. in the white shorts to not be a total jerk, right? right. And and But listen, Facts. on both of their parts, there's no way to just have this kind of argument and be a jerk to somebody. This is not what a good, sane, sober, moral, prudent person does. And so listen, just solve conflicts, be kind. Oh man, my bad, I'm sorry, Simple, man. You know, come on in, whatever. And on the other guy's case, all right, man, listen, oh, I'm sorry I was in there and he blows up. All right, dude, what? And he's right, man. Like it, we, it, like I say, man, it's not that hard. You know what I mean? I don't know why the hatred, why the hostile, hostility. Uh, and like I say, man, you know, maybe some years ago for me, you know, I know I was a hothead. I'm not gonna lie, man. For the ones that, you know, know me, they know, man. I, I, I was definitely a hothead, but you know, when you, like I say, as you grow, man, you mature, man, everything, it don't take that energy. Like, we waste so much energy just being angry, being mad, being bitter. You know, in situations just like this that did not, I don't even know the ending of, in the outcome of this, but uh, I guess he just pepper sprayed him, I'm, I'm assuming. But um, just simple stuff like this can be avoided, man. You know, just being kind. It's just that simple. I'm sorry. Have a nice night. Have a fine day. And instead, he kind of blows him off. You see him kind of wand, wand his arm off like that? And he's like, I'll piss on you, whatever. Well, well, listen, that is an invitation to an ego battle. Mm -hmm. That is an ego challenge. Now we're not Man. just talking about lines and social norms. Now we're talking about right. I disdain you. And when you do that to somebody who has anger problems, like this guy clearly has anger problems, you're going to incite wrath. And, and when you do that, you don't know how far that guy is willing to go. Now, I'm mm. going to obviously say here, I love OC spray and I love carrying an OC spray. I think it is an incredibly effective tool and I recommend it for every self defender, but never as an offensive tool, everyone, because this guy should know better than this crap, right? He, th this is never the way that we do things. And when he pulls this pepper spray yeah, out, that's why I said he was the aggressor. Him, none like, of that stuff. I ain't see the point of that. him in the face is assault. This is assault. Even in some states, it's a special category of assault. Yeah. They call that assault with a chemical weapon or something like that. Yeah, because you got to understand, like, you know, you know, criminals out here is using that to, you know, blind, you know, their victims and stuff when they rob them and, you know, things like that. So it's definitely looked at, you know, as that class type weapon. So uh, that's why I said from the jump, he was the aggressor. Like, I didn't see no point in pulling out no pepper spray. Um, you clearly can see he got a temper. I guess that's that's what you could say about now that. That said, it is the use of ordinary force. That is force very unlikely to cause death or great bodily harm. I know of exactly one case that I am aware of where OC spray resulted in the death of somebody. And so it is very exceedingly rare that OC spray is lethal. It is almost, it is universally seen as an ordinary force, not lethal force. So our dude gets OC sprayed and he is the victim of assault. Hey, get off your phone, call 911, get the cops there, get this guy arrested for assault. Instead, what he does here is he decides to draw his firearm. And you can see him there, he's got his gun in his hand. Now, I get that he's scared in this particular case. I get, I get that he is yeah, saying, especially oh no, the, what the am I going to do? But I'm going to tell you, this him. right here is an escalation of the conflict. Yeah, And I see so sure. many people that go, well, somebody OC sprays me and I'm going to feel like this is going to be deadly force, so I'm going to draw a gun and shoot him. That's what got him tried, ladies and gentlemen, because what happened here is the, the prosecutor for sure and the majority of the, the jurors in both trials said, hey, him drawing his firearm escalated the conflict, so he, the other guy escalated it from verbal to physical. That was a crime. But then our, our, our defender here, our victim here, 
of the OC spraying then escalated the conflict from physical to deadly by drawing and displaying a firearm mm. in a manner that would put the other person to think that they were at risk of death or great bodily harm. Now, mm. I get it That's that, crazy. listen, this other guy, and, and again, I think he's a total jerk, and I think that, that he escalated the conflict to begin with as well. But, you know, and, and you might say, well, they ended up, you know, in a mistrial, so he wasn't convicted of a crime, so what he does was okay, except for the hundreds of thousands of dollars, the months and months and years of sleepless nights, the losing his job, the spending many nights in jail. I've got an interview that I've linked in the description with him from jail and, and having to deal with that. And so this is why I say, mm -hmm. as your friend who tries to help you with self-defense, somebody OC sprays you, I would not draw a pistol. Drawing a pistol here escalated the conflict, got him in a shooting, and then ended up getting him tried twice, which has cost him again and again and again. Mm. Far better if you can run off and run hard. We, you know, get some tricks and understand how to, how you can fight through the pain of OC spray to continue to be able to see, to run out of there to call the cops rather than escalate the conflict more fully. Now, okay, we're just gonna say in that moment, he decides defensively and he backs away to draw a firearm because he feels like this guy has assaulted me once, now I'm diminished and I feel like if he assaults me again, I'm gonna end up in the hospital. Okay, I'm gonna make that argument if I'm his attorney as well. And I do think that his eventual mistrial came because he didn't just draw his gun and shoot the guy, he got, tried to get away from him and stay away from him. And I think that was good decision making. Yeah, here. That's so I think his attorney has a like, good argument to make here crazy. that he drew his firearm defensively worried about a secondary assault and then mm. he tried to get away. I think that was, those were both good decisions and those are what ended up getting him not convicted of murder in this particular case. So, so listen, get away from every conflict you can. Now, if you end up there, then, then this guy who has already assaulted him with OC spray and then shows him a pistol, now it's time for a gunfight. I have no problems with him moving in at this point in order to get into right. that place. And he finishes the gunfight and, and remember, <clears throat> gunfight's not really about who's right, it's about who's left at the end of the day. And our, our defender here, the guy who was initially assaulted, I think that, that his conduct at the end of things, I can't say beyond a reasonable doubt that it was not justified. And so I'm gonna say I agree with the defense here, that he should not have been convicted of this and that, that I side with him. But I understand as well why a prosecutor might choose to charge him. I understand the arguments that he's going to make, and Damn. I don't want to put that's you in that a, that's kind of situation. A tough one, man. I'm grateful oh, no. that our defender here had firearm skills. Yeah. Of course, you want to drop that that mm. phone that's in your hand and use both hands on the gun if you possibly can. That's a technique thing. Uh, but but again, the bigger <laughs> lessons here are about being a good, sane, sober, moral, prudent person, about doing the things that don't get you prosecuted to begin with, that, that lead the prosecutor to know that you were a good person that was defending themselves rather than an aggressor who escalated the conflict. Mm. I do mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. like here, okay, he kicks the gun away from the guy. The guy's not a threat anymore. And so our defender stays on scene. There's not a threat anymore. And so he stays nearby. Now, if you know he's completely unconscious, okay, fine. I might leave his presence because you don't know if he's gonna come back and kind of reanimate. You don't know what other weapons he's got on him. And you do know though that he is highly aggressive. So I might vacate that immediate uh, area, but stay in the area for responding officers. There are tough lessons here for us as self-defenders, but this is kind of the poster case of why I say OC spray is considered ordinary force. So if you escalate it, man, it could cost you an awful lot. In the end though, I would say this guy was justified in his conduct. He covered his ASP. I would like to know who the DA is in that case. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm not gonna lie, like that's I didn't know that uh he would have been convicted for that. That that clearly looked like self defense to me. I mean the guy was the aggressor with the history of having uh tempermatic pro issues and stuff like that. That's that's kind of crazy that he would uh that he would be convicted. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's kind of a shock to me. Uh, like I said, I'd like to know who the DA is in that situation. But it, it again, you know, it is what it is, man. And always, man, like I say, we gotta be kind to each other. It really makes no sense for us to be out here just really going at it, being really, you know, ignorant and you know just hostile. Like I say, it's important for us to be kind to each other, and that could have been avoided. Uh, and for the firearms, you know, uh, holders, man, that, that should be a lesson, man. You might want to just, you know, take that in heed because, again, man, we never know, man. It's unfortunate that they both have to go through something like that. But, you know, I think that's a lesson for everybody out there, man, because, like I say, as a firearms carrier, you may be thinking you're doing the right thing. And, again, man, I see so many cases like this where, 
you know, you charged with murder, murder defending yourself, rightfully so, or what you think is rightfully so, and you just never know, man. So it's, it's you know, you just got to be careful out there, man. Um, that's unfortunate. Like I said, I definitely agree and side with the uh, uh, the guy with defending himself. I don't think he was in the wrong. Um, but again, man, your fate is in their hands, and man, that's unfortunate. But anywho, man, I uh, appreciate everybody for tuning in to Todd Town. Another one, as always, man, all the love and appreciation. And again, man, we will continue, and I will be back, okay? And until next time, peace. Yeah, whoa.